everybody, I'm Gigi of Gigi Celebrities, and today I have my friend Gina Field here. Hi. Because we're, we're making, making meringue. It's in honor of Passover. <laughs> <laughs> that was super cheesy, but there is no cheese involved in this no, recipe. None at all. None. Now I don't really know anything about Passover because I'm not Jewish. So but I am. Yeah. So you gotta let us all know what it is about. Well, basically the reason why traditionally on Passover you don't eat a lot of things that have wheat and gluten and all those yummy kinds of things, I mean for people who eat them, yeah. um, is because when the Jews were being led out of Egypt by Moses, they were in a rush and they didn't have time for their bread to rise. So what they ended up with was matzah. So traditionally, aside from matzah, nothing else is going to have wheat or gluten or things like that in it. This sounds like my kind of holiday, so I think I need to convert to Judaism. Probably. Yeah, I, I think mean. I should. So meringues are traditionally a yummy dessert option, especially after the Passover Seder. Super excited to make them with you and to try them and bring Ooh, them yeah. home. Yeah, well I've never made a meringue before in my entire life. I've never even used a hand mixer before. Well, I'm excited to I be know. your first. Right? Yes. You're gonna de-virginize yes. me here in the kitchen. <laughs> And these meringues are actually going to be sugar-free as well, so should be fun. Let's should do be it. Good. Should yes. be totally guilt-free as well. Okay, everybody, the meringue is done, and for a second there, we were a little nervous. Yes, it took quite a <laughs> while to whip it to perfection. By the way, it's actually five days later from when we started this recipe. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but it actually turned out really, really well. They look amazing. They I smell think. so good. I'm so excited to try it. Oh my God, me too. Yeah, they need to actually cool. cool down, but we are too impatient. We just have to try this right now. We just need to stuff our faces. Oh yeah. They're so light and fluffy. Mm. Exactly what you want in meringue. So good. Mm. And this chocolate drizzle is actually a sugar-free chocolate syrup mm. made by New Naturals. Have you ever heard of that brand? Yes, from yeah. you. Aha! Uh -huh. There you go. I'm, I'm one of our biggest fans. See, I'm an influencer, people. Yes. Mm. Mm. Oh so my god. Good. Thank you so much. Oh my god, yes. Dude, seriously, not gonna lie, a little bummed you're having a party where you need to actually serve these because I kind of want to stick them all in my face right now. <laughs> Yum. Well, thank you all so much for watching. I do hope you enjoy this video. Gina, thank you for coming over. Thank you. This was amazing. You inspired me to make this recipe, though. I've wanted to make meringue for so long, but for some reason, I just like had not. Well, now you're an expert. We're both experts. Yes. And we also realized that you need a standing mixer that you can just kind of like walk away from. Yes. Because it really did take Very like important. 30 minutes to get this but stuff I stiff. But I did get a really good arm Girl, workout. yeah, show off these guns now. Yes. Shit. <laughs> you don't need to go to the gym the day you make meringue. That is for sure. Absolutely. Anyways, let us know in the comments below if you have ever made meringue yourself, if you guys have any tips and tricks, and I will see you all next week. Maybe Gina will come back. I soon. would love it anytime. Boom! Boom. Okay, but seriously, these are really good. Really, really good.